Hi! Today I show you step by step how I model an anatomical tooth 36 correctly. I start with the tooth analysis. I'm lucky that the rest of the dentition is completely there and draw the cusp lines. My crown should have this shape and no larger afterwards. I want to use this natural line as a guide for my wax up. The wax came with a thickness of 0.4 is already in place. I start with the positioning of the cusp points. If you are still unsure about the shape, orientate yourself on possible show model teeth, or in this case the opposite molar 4-6. It has really helped me. Then I come to the lingual side. From cervical, the tooth initially runs smoothly until it changes to a light convexity. The lingual surface is slightly smaller than the buccal one. All mandibular molars have this lingual design. The lingual cusp tips are my shear cusps, therefore more sharply. To the buccal side. There are the rumming cusps and we have a clear convexity. The latches of the respective cusps must not be ignored and the profile must be correct. I first focus on the two dominant cusps for turning the smallest one on the distal side, which I place only with a slight groove on it. We have slightly trapezoidal outline. So before we start Oclisal, you can still work on your circular surface with cotton wool or any instrument. This is the central fissure that divides the buccal and the distal half. Now I'm modeling from cusp to cusp. Which one you start with? is up to you, of course. You have to find your own system. The oclusal cusp must always be modeled more dominantly than the latches. All cusp endings and marginal edges are convexly curved. The mesiolingual cusp has a clear triangular bead. Take time to look at your modeling from all viewing angles.
it is important that your entire chewing plane remains. The crown must not to sit too high or too low. For working on fine fishes, I use a sharpened old grinder. The chewing surface can be brushed out for the fine surface structure. Here you see that I'm still on the central line. Yes, we are finished. I hope you liked the video. If so then, I would be very happy about a thumbs up or an additional subscriber. Until next time, you're Richard.